Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today I am at the purveyor to spend a whole bunch of legendary script. There is a legendary sale going on. Everything is 25% off. By the time this video comes out, that sale will be over. And this character knows very few legendary mods. I know a total of eight. So that is the goal to find good legendary effects. I don't really care so much about what the weapon is or the armor piece. I'm going to be buying both. Uh, mostly I'm looking for good effects to learn. Obviously, if I get something interesting, uh, I will keep it and play around with it. So I have 10,000 to, uh, to spend, which means I can get 83 weapons and 83 armors. I think that's, uh, if my math is correct, that's how much we'll end up with. My plan is to buy one of each, just every other one, switch between the two. And this is what I know so far. There's these eight effects, cloaking, ghoul slayers, troubleshooters, weightless zealots, vats enhanced, durability, and sentinels. Nothing spectacular in there. There's a whole lot of great effects that I don't know. And since I'm mostly focused on good effects that I can get for scrapping, uh, I don't want to spend a ton of time on each thing. I'm going to try and go through this quicker than normal because it will take quite a while. Obviously, if something is a little more interesting, I will stop and spend a little more time on it. And then after I do this, I will scrap. I don't know if I'll scrap everything. I'll scrap most things. Uh, if there's anything interesting, I will keep it. And I will tell you what I got. And I will talk about anything I decide to keep. So let's just get right at it. So first up, we've got a weapon with Executioner's Crusader Pistol, Explosive, 90% reduced weight. Okay, those are all good effects. I do like that Explosive uh, on energy weapons. Now we have uh, Hunters, Radiation Resistance, Junk Weight Reduction. Those are not really effects that I care a whole lot about. And we have Instigating with Bash Damage plus 3 Strength. Instigating, that could be good. I don't necessarily want it on this, but Instigating could be a good effect on other things. So that is something I want to know. And plus 3 Strength for melee weapons, that's actually good as well. And we've got Overeaters, of course, Overeaters. This is a full health character and I do run Overeaters armor. So yes, that is an effect I wanna know. Perception, junk weight reduction, those are not really effects that I'm all that interested in. And we've got a Junkies, Ultra Sight Laser with Explosive again. Oh, nice. Oh, and it's a, with Vats Critical Charge. This may be one I wanna save and try and modify just because it's Explosive on Energy Weapon and I don't know the Explosive effect yet. So this would be one I would, I wouldn't use Junkies, I might use something else, but yeah, this may be one I wanna keep for later. We've got Weightless with plus one perception, radiation recovery. Eh, no, nah, that's not really something I, I'm interested in. So another, a note on Weightless, uh, it's a first star effect on armor and a third star effect on weapons, which means learning Weightless on one doesn't transfer to the other. And we've got uh, Stalkers with uh, Vats Hit Chance and 90% reduced weight. I already know Vats Hit Chance. That was one of the good effects that I know. Uh, stalkers I don't care about, reduced weight, not so much. I don't remember if I know that one or not. And we've got Assassins with Poison Resist and Junk Weight. Yeah. In terms of weight reduction, I just think Junk Weight is the least useful out of all of them, just because a lot of people have Fallout First with Survival Tents. Poison Resist is good. Uh, assassins, I don't do PvP, so Assassins is not very useful to me. And that's why I keep getting it last round. I hate last round. <laughs> Weapon Breaks Lower. Durability is a good one. That's a good effect. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, Weightless again. Wow. Uh, let's see. Disease. Plus Disease Chance. I think that's a typo. I don't think wearing four pieces will give you 100% a chance to catch a disease, but who knows. Lamb damage, not really a third star that I'm ever looking for. Ghoul slayers, you don't need any extra benefit against ghouls. Replenish AP with each kill is so-so. Uh, Vats critical charge, that can actually be a pretty good effect, especially if you're playing full health. Uh, help you get to that every other hit for, uh, or every other shot on a critical a lot easier. Life saving with, I'm getting poison resistance a lot. Life saving, not something I like, but I know some people do. And uh, let's see, what is that? The uh, Cavaliers? Yeah, the Cavaliers effect. That's a popular one as well. Not something I'm a fan of, though. We have Zealots, which isn't super useful. Last round, again, I don't think it's crazy, but reload speed. I do like reload speed, so I would not mind learning that. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Weightless again. Just every other piece is Weightless. Uh, plus two agility and Break Slower. Break Slower is something that works on weapons or armor, so that could be a useful, uh, useful one to know. Got instigating, not the right weapon for instigating, but that is an effect to a good effect. Oh wow, instigating, projectiles explode, and reload speed. You know that take out that first star, and this is a kind of a fun weapon. Uh I don't <laughs> necessarily want I'd rather have the ultrasight gatling laser, but yeah, those are all effects I'd like to know. So that's uh, something interesting. Mutant Slayers, eh, not really interested in that. Uh, plus two agility. Uh, harder to detect on that third star. That's a good one to know. Uh, we've got Vampires. I wouldn't want it on a bow, but Vampires is an effect that I like. Replenish AP on kill, not really something I'm interested in. And that third star, not so much either. Uh, Hunters, ooh, Endurance. Yes, Endurance is what I'm going for, especially on this character. I'm trying to get all Endurance on the armor. So any, any piece I get with Endurance is very desirable, and chance to deal crowd damage, nah, not that interesting. 
Uh, stalkers, again, not that great, but that's, well, that's hit chance I know. Reload speed, though, that's a good effect. As, so that's the one I want on this one is the reload speed. Hopefully we can learn that. Cloaking, not a fan of cloaking. Uh, endurance, though. All right, so this one's a winner because it's got endurance, which is what I'm looking for. Instigating broadsider, last round, instigating last round, uh, movement speed, okay. <laughs> instigating, I wouldn't mind learning the other ones, not so much. Uh, we have zealots with less explosion damage and less limb damage. None of those are effects I'm particularly interested in, although, although less explosive damage could be uh, a good one to know. Nocturnal, uh, limb damage and 90% reduced weight. Mm, reduced weight is useful, other than that, not so much. Not really care, well, not really, whoops, make sure I do the right one. Bolstering with plus two luck and chance to deal crowd damage. Now luck, I actually find kind of interesting. If you want to do a full health character, but you want to get crits every other shot, I'm kind of interested in doing a luck build. You know, like a full set of armor with just all luck pieces on it, just to get your luck to that uh, 24 range for every other shot if you have the right, right weapon. So I think that's kind of an interesting one to know. I don't know that I'll ever use it, but maybe. Suppressors Pepper Shaker with bash damage, uh, yeah. I could see Suppressors maybe being useful in the future. We have raids coming and maybe maybe having that effect might be useful as sort of a support build. I don't know. At the moment, it's not an effect I care about, but that might change at some point. Nocturnal, uh, there's that luck again. Nocturnal and Sweet Spot don't really care about, but luck I think could be kind of an interesting thing. Assassin's Alien Disintegrator with critical damage and agility. I don't really care about agility on my weapons, uh, but critical damage, that is one I definitely want to learn. We've got mutants, oh, luck again. All right, well, maybe we got a good chance to learn luck here. Food, drink, and chem weight. I do think that is one of the more useful weight reduction effects on armor, so that would definitely be something I would want to learn. Uh, we've got mutant slayers with replenish AP. Nope, don't really care about any of those. Uh, let's see, Exterminators, plus two strength for a melee character. That would be a good one. I do have a melee character on this account, so uh, learning that strength mod is uh, something I definitely am interested in doing. We've got Nocturnal with Vat's hit chance and reduced weight. I don't care about Nocturnal, and I already know reduced, or uh, Vat's hit chance, rather. Uh, life saving. Oh, there's luck again. Yeah, I think I think maybe I'm going to get lucky and I'm going to learn luck. We will see. Junk weight, though. The least useful out of all the weight reduction perks, I think. Uh, there's explosive again, so that's one out of the out of these three effects. I don't really care about endurance on on weapons, and that's a third star, so it's not really useful. It doesn't transfer to armor, so yeah, the explosive thing I'd like to learn. The other two I don't really care. Uh, we got vampire, ooh, AP regen. Okay, AP regen is another one I would like to learn. Vanguards is not my preferred uh, first star. I'd rather have overeaters, but still, learning vanguards would be all right. And that third star, that doctor's effect, I don't really care about at all. It's not something I would ever, not something I would ever choose. Uh, Juggernauts, extra damage, but it's a mere tier effect. And those other two stars just, well, damage while aiming, I guess. If you want to play a non-Vats character that does, like a sniper character or something, uh, damage while aiming could actually be a useful effect. So sure, let's learn that. All right, we've got, to, oh, Overeaters. Finally, we got an appearance of Overeaters. So this is a, an effect I definitely want to learn. Uh, radiation resistance, I don't care about. And damage while sprinting, yeah, I don't really care about that either. Gourmand's lever action. Ooh, exploded. I'm getting a lot of explodey things, which is good. That gives me a much better chance to learn it or get some loose mods for it either way. Uh, but learning would be the preference. So that's the one I'm interested in. Gourmand's not so much. It's a mid-tier thing. So yeah, project, uh, explosive is the one I'm interested in on that. Let's see, troubleshooters, uh, cryo damage, fall damage. I don't actually care about any of those effects. Right now, cryo damage, or cryo resistance rather, isn't super useful unless you do PvP. Uh, troubleshoot, oh, critical damage. Okay, so critical damage is the one that I'm uh, looking at on this. That is one I would want to learn. We've got bolstering, less explosion, and less damage taken while blocking. Uh, yeah, those are three effects I don't care about at all. Junkies with exploding again and reload speed. All right, so we're getting some good effects. Not necessarily the best weapons, but uh, I do like expl well, actually explosive on this might be kind of interesting. I haven't actually tested it. So, but yeah, explosive is one I want to learn and reload speed as well. Those are two effects that I'm really interested in. Uh, regenerating, don't really care about that. I do run solar, I mean, this is solar and this character actually runs solar armor. All the pieces are better than this and it gives you so much healing. I don't really care about uh, regenerating as a secondary effect because it's pretty slow and it only works outside of combat as far or yeah outside of combat so and perception fall damage eh, not really super interested in those effects quad okay i have not learned quad on any character yeah i have two accounts i have a total of eight characters and i don't know quad on any of them so definitely interested in learning that as long as, and, and as well as critical damage too and this one we've got bolstering with disease chance and uh uh, chance to reduce damage while not moving. So that is the uh, Sentinel's effect. So that could be kind of interesting, but other than that, this is not something 
I really care if I learn those effects or not. Mutant Slayers replenish AP and damage resist while reloading. None of those effects interest me at all. And we've got Unyielding. Okay, I, that's one I don't know either. So Unyielding could be very useful. I do have a low health character on this account, so that could help me out a lot. Radiation resistance, uh, not so much. Food drink and chem weight, though, that's also a useful effect. Uh, Mutant Slayers, weapon speed. So weapon speed is a very good one. So, And obviously on this one, you know, 90% reduced weight. This is normally a very heavy gun. So 90% reduced weight is, is useful if you are using heavy weapons. But weapon speed, yeah, that's one I don't know yet that I would like to know. Cloaking, I don't like cloaking. Uh, or perception, radiation recovery. You know, on characters where I actually care about that, I run what rads, so radiation recovery on armor is not really super useful. Troubleshooters with last round and Vats critical charge. Okay, Vats critical charge is the one that I want. The other two, not so much. Nocturnal with plus two strength, ammo weight. Ammo weight I find useful and plus two strength. So I've got two stars that I really like on that that I would like to learn. Assassins, damage while aiming and reload speed. Damage while aiming could be good for out of ats, reload speed, that's useful as well. Assassins, for me, I don't do I don't do PvP, so assassins, not super useful. Uh, Life-saving perception, those aren't useful, but harder to detect while sneaking, that's a good one as well for a stealth character. Uh, nocturnal, bash damage, and chance to become invisible. None of those effects are ones that I care about. Uh, nocturnal, less explosion damage, and break slower. Again, break slower is fine on some some weapons, but on armor, I don't really care about it. And and uh, repair kits are really plentiful. So for the most part, that's just not uh, not a piece where I care about any of those effects. Two shot, two shot is an effect I don't know on any of my characters. So that could be something you know you pair it with explosive, and it can become pretty cool. Uh, other than that, I don't really care about that. Uh, those other two weapon effects. Uh, let's see, exterminators, charisma, radiation recovery. Yeah. Unless you're going to go shopping, I don't think charisma is all that useful for for anything. So yeah, this is not... Uh, those are three stars I don't care about. Nocturnal with limb damage and weapon break slower. Third star is okay. I mean, limb damage is fine if you're looking to build like a crippling gun or whatever. So it's a useful... Or it could be a useful effect to know. But for the most part, that just... Uh, none of those effects really excite me all that much. Chameleon with uh, charisma and fall damage. You know, the thing about fall damage is if you have two pieces with that, uh, you can jump from any height and not take any damage. That's pretty cool if that's something you're into. But other than that, I'm uh, not super excited about that piece. Aristocrats. Oh, okay. All right, so we've got Aristocrats Ultrasight Laser Pistol with Projectiles Explode and plus three agility. Aristocrats is one of my favorite effects, and Projectiles Explode I think is pretty cool on an energy gun, so if you change out that third star to be, say, reduced AP cost or something, this could be something. This will probably be one that I hold on to and try and modify to make it into something uh, something kind of fun to use. So yeah, that's, that's I mean, it's just too bad. I'd like to scrap it and learn the mods, but I think I'll probably hold on to that one and uh, use it later. Uh, assassins with hunger and thirst grow slower, junk item weight. Yeah, hunger and thirst growing slower, just not super useful. Food is very plentiful, so, and there's perfect bubble gum. Uh, which completely eliminates that effect, uh, and junk weight, yeah, not really all that interesting. Vampires, uh, damage while aiming, and damage resist while aiming. Okay, vampires is not an effect that I know, so I'm really interested in learning that one. Uh, Gauss minigun, this is not a heavy gunner character, I don't even know why I bothered learning that plan, but I did, so this will definitely be headed for the scrap bin. And we've got cloaking, with plus two luck and receive less limb damage. Luck I'm interested in, the other effects not so much. Hunter's Western Revolver, replenish AP, and plus three perception. Uh, yeah, we're just moving on from that. That's just not something I'm looking for. Mutant Slayers, endurance though. Anytime I get endurance on a piece, that's just, I, I wanna learn it. I haven't learned it on any character, and I have two characters right now I'm trying to get a full endurance set. So that's something I'm really excited about. Other than that, uh, yeah, harder to detect maybe, but for the most part, it's that endurance that I'm looking for. We've got Junkies, Bash Damage, Weapon Break Slower. These actually do break pretty quickly, so that's not the worst third star, even though I'd rather have uh, faster reload. Junkies is a good effect. I don't run any characters that way, but it still could be useful to know in case I ever do decide to run that way. Bash Damage, though, not so much. Uh, Ghoul Slayers, Charisma, Chance Deal, Crowd Damage. Yeah, nah, I don't care, <laughs> I don't care about any of those. Uh, instigated with critical damage and reload speed. I would like to learn all of those effects. That's great. Um, this could actually be a good sniper. It's it's an enclave though, so getting your hands on those mods could be probably more trouble than it's worth. But actually, you know, if you got the right mods on this, that's actually really good just as it is, just without any kind of mods at all. At least in terms of changing the legendary effects. Obviously, you'd want to put the like the regular weapon mods on it. 
Uh, life saving with plus two agility and ammo weight. I do like ammo weight. I think that's useful because it can reduce, uh, if you run energy and ballistic, it can reduce uh, five, uh, two perk cards for five perk points. So I do like that. The other effects, not so much. Uh, Juggernaut's Gatling Laser, damage while aiming, plus three perception. Damage while aiming, maybe. I mean, for the most part, no, but maybe. And Juggernaut's mid-tier effects. So I don't really care about that so much. We've got bolstering, disease chance, and chance to deal poison damage. I don't like any of those effects. I'm not not looking to put those on my armor. Instigating with damage while aiming, plus three endurance. I, well, that's, I don't know. I would say instigate. I mean, those two effects, instigating, damage while aiming, would be great for a non-vats character. This is the wrong kind of weapon for that. It's just not a... Not a high damage weapon, so instigating is really not going to be uh, something I would definitely choose on that. Exterminator with Charisma and Breathe Underwater. Well, until we get those underwater levels, uh, that's just not an effect that's super useful in this game. Furious, damage while aiming. Furious is actually not that bad on something like this, because you want on a high fire rate, uh, low damage weapon, which this fits the bill. But generally, there are other effects that I would rather have. Oh, here we go. Unyielding, plus two perception, ammo weight. I do like ammo weight. And Unyielding could be useful as well. So there's two effects that I would like to learn from that weapon. Nocturna with Weapon Speed and Reload Speed. Actually, this one's kind of interesting. Uh, weapon Speed and Reload Speed are both excellent effects on this particular gun. So you just need to change out that first star. I wish this was tradable, though. I wish I could move this over because I do have a heavy gunner that could make good use of this. So, yeah, this will probably end up a script just because this character doesn't play that way. And I don't really have any plans to change that. Uh, we've got bolstering with less explosion damage, chance to deal poison, and eh, eh, not so much. None of those effects. We don't care. Berserkers with weapon speed and plus three perception. Berserkers is an effect I would like to learn. I have run this particular character as Berserkers in the past. That's how it actually started out. And I could definitely see going back to that at some point. So that would be an effect I want. And weapon speed is also a useful effect. Assassins plus two strength, fall damage. Uh, strength and fall damage would be interested to learn. Assassins, I couldn't care less about that. Uh, we have Suppressors with Vats Hit Chance, and okay, so Suppressors, sure. I'd like to learn that just as a possibility that it might be useful at some point. I already know Vats Hit Chance, and that third star just never. Never, never, never. So we have Mutants with Perception and Weapon Weight. Okay, Weapon Weight. That's I think that's the first time that's come up on uh, this go-around. That's definitely a desirable effect. It's probably the most popular third star on armor. Those other two, though, not so much. A Hunter's Gauss Rifle. Damage while aiming and plus three endurance. Um, yeah, none of those. I mean, damage while aiming, sure. But it's not necessarily something I'm looking for. It's more of a case of maybe at some point I might want to play a character that way. We've got troubleshooters plus two charisma and cryo damage. In terms of enemy specific stuff, I think troubleshooters is probably the most useful because robots can, uh, can be pretty dangerous. But for the most part, I'd rather have something like overeaters and those other two effects just don't interest me even a little bit. Uh, suppressors, weapon speed, sure, let's learn those. Uh, damage resist while reloading, nah, who cares. Chameleon with fire resist, food drink, and chem weight. All right, food drink and chem weight is useful, and fire resist, that could be useful as well. Chameleon, no. Not for me, it's not an effect I ever care about. Uh, salvage the Sautron head, I don't like those at all, but I do like the aristocrats effect. It's one of my favorites, and I'd like to learn strength for melee weapons as well, so that'll definitely be one that I can scrap and maybe do something with. We've got life saving, charisma, chance to deal fire damage. Nope, that's a triple nope on that one. Uh, again, salvage assault on head. So yes, I'd like to learn the berserkers effect, and I would like to learn the strength. You know, plus three strength. That would be a useful one as well. Regenerating, I don't care about. Radiation resist, I don't care about either. Food drinking can wait though. That would be a useful one to learn. Medics. Okay, so medics has actually become. Uh, it's changed, and so it's become very good for a support character. So Medics is a useful one to learn. Bash damage, don't care about that. AP cost, but this one could actually be pretty good as is. Just uh, swap out bash damage for faster fire rate, something like that. Uh, but I'll probably still scrap that just to learn the mods, or a chance to learn the mods. Uh, Exterminators and Charisma, don't care about that. But Ammo Weight is definitely something I'm interested in learning. Anti-Armor, I don't know that either on any character. So that's one I would like to know. And Weapon Speed as well. So I don't really care for this weapon, but yeah, two effects that I would like to learn. And this one, Ghoul Slayers with Poison Resist and Weapon Weight. Okay, Weapon Weight for sure, you want to learn that. Poison Resist also is a good effect. Mutants Railway Rifle with Last Round, Damage Resist while Aiming. Yeah, Mutants is a mid-tier effect, and I don't really care about it, and those other two I definitely don't care about. Nocturno with plus two intelligence and chance to deal fire damage. Intelligence is another one that it would be nice to know for armor because you could build yourself uh, like a leveling set for when you're interested. Even if you're not interested in leveling up, maybe you want to go through the season board a little quicker, something like that. So have that effect for double XP weekend, something like that. So yes, intelligence is definitely one I would like to know. 
Executioners with weapon speed and chance to become invisible. Okay, weapon speed, yes. Executioners, yes. I would like to learn both of those effects. Assassins with plus two luck and ammo weight. Okay, uh, ammo weight and luck. Definitely want to learn those. Assassins, I just, I have no interest in that at all. Furious with bash damage and movement speed. Furious, this is the wrong kind of weapon for Furious. You, you don't want it on shotguns. Uh, and it's not that great of an effect. It's not one that I would ever choose to put on a weapon. So uh, if I learn it, fine. But if I don't learn it, that's also fine. We have life saving with cryo resist and uh, receive less limb damage. Not into any of those effects, so I'm I'm just gonna keep on going. Gormons with last round and damn last round holds three capacity is 250. Um, yeah, those are three effects I just don't care about at all. Auto stim with plus two luck and the doctor's effect. So plus two luck, yes. The other two, not so much. Junkies, oh, exploding, and oh, it's Enclave, though. Jeez, too bad this is Enclave. I would love to play around with this, but I don't know any, like, I do not have a collection of Enclave mods that I could actually build this out. And I basically want to, yeah, I'd want to replace just basically everything on here. Uh, and I wouldn't want Junkies, I'd put something else. But, uh, yeah, this could be really cool, but it's Enclave, and uh, modding those is just a thing. So we're going to get rid of that. Ghoul Slayers with Disease Chance and Sweet Spot. Uh, yeah, triple nope on that. Stalkers with critical damage and plus three strength. Yes, critical damage and plus three strength are definitely ones I would like to learn. Life saving with disease chance and ammo weight. Okay, so ammo weight is the only one I'm picking off of that that I'm interested in. Mutant Slayer's Fat Man, damage while aiming, endurance. Eh, damage while aiming is kind of, you know, it's like, okay, I'd be great learning that, but I'm okay with not so much. And the other two I just uh, don't really have any interest in. Weightless, oh, plus two endurance. See, this is already a winner because we have plus two endurance, so that gives us a chance to learn that effect. And less uh, noise while sneaking, so that could be a good one to learn as well. We've got troubleshooters with bash damage, weapon break slower. Weapon break slower, yes. The other two, no, not so much. Uh, hunters with fire resist and sweet spot. Okay, fire resist maybe, the other two, not so much. A lot of that though, right? Uh, aristocrats, uh, AP cost, last round, okay. They're kind of all the wrong effects, but I do like Aristocrats. It's one of my favorites. And reduced AP cost, that's that's really useful as well. So this will definitely be one I'll scrap and cross my fingers when I do. Mutant Slayers, Charisma, Radiation Recovery. Yep, three effects I don't care about. Aristocrats, Vats Hit Chance, Reduce Weight. Okay, I already know Vats Hit Chance, but Aristocrats, again, I do like that effect. And 90% reduced weight, sure. In certain situations, for heavy guns, it could be good. Hunters, Hunger and Thirst, and more effective Radawaits, Stimpaks, and who cares? All right, three effects I don't want. Mutants with last round and chance to be invisible. Oh, this is, this one's the problem. This is terrible. Okay, last round and, and invisible on a heavy gun. Awesome. So yeah, this is just, nope. That's just a big fat nope is what that is. Overeaters, yes. Intelligence, yes. Fall damage, okay. Uh, definitely want to learn all of those effects. Ghoul Slayers, damage while aiming, endurance. Eh, damage while aiming, maybe. The other two, I don't care. Bolstering disease chance, no, but we have weapon weight. So that is definitely one we want to learn. Weapon weight is a good thing. Vampire's gas pistol with bash damage and AP cost. I don't really run pistols on this character and I don't, I don't love the gas pistol so much. Although if that second star was explosive, that could be kind of interesting. Uh, I just don't know that I'd waste an explosive mod on this. So I'll probably just scrap it and try and learn vampires and reduced AP cost because those are effects that I really want. Nocturnal Luck and Ammo Weight. Okay, Luck and Ammo Weight are two effects that I really want to learn. We've got Two Shot with Bash Damage Perception. Two Shot is one I don't know. I don't super care about it. Uh, it's not an effect that I run all that much, but knowing it would be kind of nice. But the other two, Bash Damage and Perception, not so much. Make sure we choose the right thing here. Life Saving, Cryo Resist, and Junk Weight. Uh, least useful uh, weight reduction perk and two other effects that I don't care about as well. Medics with explosive and agility. Explosive is one I want to learn, and so is medics. Agility, not so much. Uh, we've got a lot of good effects though. So chameleon, rad resist, and this one. Okay, we don't care. We don't care about any of those things. Gourmands, replenish AP and damage resist while aiming. Uh, yeah, not not so much on any of those either. Uh, ooh, this one's good though. Plus two intelligence and weapon weight reduction. I don't care about my nocturnal, but that second and third star definitely ones I would like to learn. And Executioner's last round, reduce weight. Executioner's, you know, if you put ex explosive on this on that second star, that could actually be pretty cool. So this might be, that actually might be worth saving to put an explosive on it and test it out at some point. Because those other two effects are good. Uh, plus two strength is the one on this one that I care about. The other two, not so much. Uh, this one is Suppressors with last round and 90% reduced weight. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's not, that's just not great. Suppressors, just not something... 
if I were to ever use suppressors, I'd want it on a high fire rate weapon because the duration's really slow and it does refresh on hit. So you want to just keep hitting over and over again. Gauss rifle is not the right weapon for that, but we have an armor piece that has endurance. I don't care about the other two effects, but we have endurance. So there is a chance to learn that. So I'm going to cross my fingers and hope for the best. Executioners, limb damage, weapon breaks slower. Executioner is a good one to learn. Weapon break slower is fine. The other one, not so much. Bolstering with cryo resist and chance to deal energy damage. Yeah, I don't care about any of those effects at all. I don't find them useful, but we have executioners again and reload speed and damage while aiming. All right, those are three effects. I would not mind learning all three of those. That'd be great. Uh, we have an unyielding. I think this is only the second unyielding piece. So chance to learn that is good. Uh, fire resist, that's a good one too. Breathe underwater. Just uh, There just isn't underwater. That's just not a thing. Troubleshooters with bash damage and weapon breaks slower. Uh, weapon breaks slower is one that's, uh, con that could be useful. Let me make sure I choose the right thing here. Other two, not so much. Hunter Secret Service, Hunger and Thirst, and Chance to Deal Crowd Damage. No, 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 no. Triple no on that one. Aristocrats with Bash Damage, Weapon Breaks Slower. These actually break pretty quickly. So if you if you put in something different on that second star, this would actually be pretty good. I will scrap it, though, and try and learn those mods. Overeaters. All right. Hooray. I think this is only the second piece. So that is something I'm hunting for, but I'm not getting a lot to work with today. The other two effects, not so much. Quad with Limb Damage and Reduced Weight. Quad is an effect I want to learn. Those other two, not so much. So that'll be a scrap and cross my fingers for quad. We have weightless with radiation resist and food, drink, and chem weight. Uh, food, drink, and chem weight, yes. The other two, not so much. Mutant's bow, damage while aiming. Uh, damage while aiming on a bow, yeah, I'll, I'll pass on that. They're good VATS weapons. Uh, aiming manually with them is kind of a rough situation. Uh, troubleshooters, covert scout. So we have intelligence and ammo weight, both effects that I would like to learn. Zealots with critical damage. So critical damage is the one there that I want to learn. The other two, not so much. Aristocrats endurance. Ooh, all right. Two effects I want to learn. Aristocrats is one of those effects that can be used on armor and weapons. I don't use it on armor, but on weapons, it's good. So I have two stars that I would like to learn from that one. I've got quite a few endurance pieces, so hopefully I get lucky. Mutant Slayer's bash, da bash damage, movement speed. Nope, just three effects. I'm not, I'm never going to choose those. Mutant Slither, left arm. Mutants is another one that can be used on weapons and armor, but it's not usually an effect I'm going to choose. It's just kind of an okay effect. And the other two stars, I don't really care about either. Executioners with limb damage and damage resist while aiming. Executioners, yes. The other two, eh, I don't care. We have mutants with brother, or uh, brother. <laughs> I'm reading the, the name of the item and the second effect at the same time. Radiation resistance and chance reduced damage while sprinting. So we have that Cavalier's effect that I know some people are after. I'm not one of those people. Mutants, yeah, not so much either. That's just kind of a who cares kind of piece. Uh, mutants again, replenish AP and reduce AP cost. Okay, reduced AP cost is the one we're going after on that one. So hopefully we can learn that. That would be really good. Then we've got the luck. So this, so it's plus two luck and the fall damage, mostly the luck, but both, both either one of those effects or both of the, those effects would be ones I'd be happy to learn. We've got junkies with limb damage and reduced weight. Uh, yeah, not so much. Don't really care about that. Bolstering with charisma. Chance to deal fire damage. No, 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 no. Three times no. Anti-armor damage while aiming reduced weight. Anti-armor is an effect that I'm trying to learn and I have not done so yet. So hopefully that piece will give us what we want. Auto stim, uh, Arctic Marine, Hunger and Thirst grow slower. Sweet spot, no on those. Suppressors with VATS hit chance and reload speed. Okay, I know VATS hit chance, but reload speed is what I want to learn. And suppressors might be one that I'm happy to learn at some point in the future. Uh, this one is AP regen is the one we're going after there. I haven't learned that effect. So that is the powered effect. So definitely that is one I'm going to hope on. We've got furious perception, damage while aiming, eh, damage while aiming maybe, but for the most part, not really. Uh, we've got nocturnal, ooh, AP regen and ammo weight. All right. So I've got two effects on this that I want to learn action point regen and ammo weight reduction. So yeah, give me those. Please give me those junkies, hunting rifle, last round damage resist while aiming. Yeah, not so much. If I ever decide to play junkies, then sure. But right now, not so much. And let's see, break slower, cryo resist, damage from robots. No, not really. Medics. Okay, medics is, a, is an effect I want to learn. The other two, I don't really care about. I don't plan to do a lot of bashing. Troubleshooters, Arctic Marine, ammo weight reduction. Yes, ammo weight for sure. Fire resist, uh, okay. But yeah, the ammo weight on that is definitely one I want. Stalkers with critical damage and reduced AP cost. Uh, well, it's still a crossbow. But uh, if you swap out stalkers for something else, this could be kind of, uh, well, it would still be a crossbow, but those are effects I definitely, I definitely want to learn. At least those second two effects. Stalkers, not so much. 
Uh, Mutant Slayer. Oh, Endurance. All right. So we've got another Endurance piece. So hopefully I get lucky with that. So yeah. Endurance is what I'm hoping on for there. Juggernauts. Damage while aiming. Weapon breaks slower. And those are all kind of so-so effects. So if I learn them, great. If not, that's fine too. Uh, another Unyielding piece. I think this is number three. The other two effects, not so much. But yeah, maybe I'll learn Unyielding. I've only got three shots at it, which is more than Overeaters, though. Another Vampire. All right, so another chance to learn the Vampire's effect. Uh, I don't really care so much about those other two effects. I know Break Slower can be useful on certain things, but for me, it's just fine. So we've got uh, Intelligence and Ammo Weight Reduction. Both useful effects. Uh, Hunters, not so much. Uh, let's see. I don't have enough to buy another ranged weapon, so we'll just finish off with an armor piece on the end, and then I'll get to scrapping. Uh, oh! Oh, wow, this is, actually, this is actually pretty good, just kind of as it is. I mean, that third star, you'd want to swap out. But yeah, we have Unyielding with AP Regen and Increased Sweet Spot. Uh, it's Marine Armor, which I don't usually run. So I'll scrap this and try and learn the mods. But yeah, that's actually a pretty solid start to a good piece. All right, so here I am at the workbench after scrapping everything. And I learned three things, really only one I care about. So I learned Quad, which was pretty good. That's uh, This is the first character to learn that. So that's pretty good. And that takes Fusion Cores. All right, so I learned Quad. I learned Inertial, which is replenish AP on each kill. Don't really care about that, but that's one I learned. And I learned Nimble, which is faster movement speed while aiming. Again, not an effect I care about, but learning Quad, I call that a win. Uh, unfortunately, none of the uh, cool effects I was looking for on armor, but still, I did learn something useful. As far as mods that dropped, uh, nothing amazing. I got Troubleshooters, Zealots, Bashers, Hitmans. What is Hitmans? Uh, damage while aiming. Okay, last shot, Dissipating, which is Radiation Recovery. Durability, which could be useful. Frozen, which is, oh, cryo damage. Lightweight, uh, which is an armor of, is that, no, that's a weapon effect. Uh, secret agent, which is harder to detect while sneaking. So nothing amazing. I just, this was not an amazing trip to pre the purveyor at all. So as far as weapons go, I'm kind of undecided. So I just kept some of these. I kept three things. I think it was three things. So I have the Aristocrats Ultrasight Laser Pistol with ex uh, projectiles explode and plus three agility. If I could get uh, reduced AP costs, which I do think I have one of those mods, maybe on another character that uh, I could apply onto this. And that could be fun to use, something I want to check out. And then I have this Enclave Plasma Pistol, which is explosive. I mean, I can't really mod it, but maybe somebody else can, or maybe I can get my hands on the mods. I think that could be a good one to play around with. And then we have this other junk, this other Ultrasight Laser Pistol, which is also junkies exploding and critical charge. So I could maybe swap out that first star for something else like Aristocrats or whatever. That's it. That's everything I got. So it was uh, not the best trip ever, I will say. <laughs> There's uh, a, a bit of disappointment, especially with the crafting or with the unlocking. I just didn't really, yeah, just didn't get much and, and really nothing I was looking for. Quad is good, but there are other things I really would rather unlock first. But hopefully the next uh, trip will be better. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit one of the buttons and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.